What's up guys, welcome to my tutorial on skill curving for Blade Masters. Now first of all, skill curving. What is that? What even is that? Well, if you spent any time PvPing, surely you've come across at least one shadow or assassin that knows how to control the direction of their shadow dash. That is the most common case of skill curving in action. Skill curving essentially takes one skill that's supposed to go in a straight line and allows you to curve it in whatever direction you choose. As you can probably imagine, it's a very handy technique that most pro players will use if their class has skills they can curve. So the question is, what skills can BMs curve? Well, if you've watched videos of me PvPing, I believe uh, well over a year ago I had started curving Assault Smash, and these days many pro BMs do curve Assault Smash as well, but there's another skill that I never really made public, I never, I never emphasized that BM can curve it, and I have not seen anyone figure it out yet, so I decided I'd finally go ahead and reveal another useful skill that BMs can curve, and it's not as useful as Assault Smash, but it is still pretty useful, and you'll find out later on in this video. So, I know what you're probably thinking, Pervy, you're breaking my balls, man, you still haven't told me how to curve the damn skills. Okay, you impatient bastards, let's get to it then. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you guys. So, the first step is to push and hold the middle mouse button. While the middle mouse button is pressed, you can move your camera around independently of your character. So this allows you full camera control. This is the key to aiming your curve. Now when you release the button, the camera snaps back to the front of your camera. That is what allows the curve to happen in the first place. Normally these skills are supposed to follow the orientation of your camera, and this is what allows you to control it. So, to curve Assault Smash, you start by holding S and right click to charge Assault Smash. And while it's charging before it launches, you want to push middle mouse button and turn your camera to the direction you want the curve to be. Then, as the skill starts to launch, you want to release the middle mouse button and let it snap during the charge. That will effectively allow you to curve Assault Smash. It's not nearly as difficult as it looks, trust me. So releasing the middle mouse button at different times during the charge allows you to control the steepness of the charge. So that combined with your camera control can give you pretty precise control over what type of curve you want, where you want to land, exactly what you want to do with the curve, and it can be extremely useful because there's a little glitch with skill curving. Since it's basically an exploit, it's not really something the game was meant to do. There's bound to be adverse effects, if you will. And one effect of skill curving is a teleport. When you curve a shadow dash, when you curve an assault smash, or pretty much any other skill, even evasive dash, you can effectively cause a teleport to happen. And I've had people call me a lagger because of it, but it's just because they don't know exactly what I'm doing. Um, it can effectively allow you to get the drop on your opponent. So with Assault Smash, the curve is very, very quick, and the teleport's very noticeable, so if you do it right, you can catch your opponent by surprise. And now it's time for the great reveal. Cue the drum roll. Ta-da! Bet you didn't see that one coming. Or, maybe you did. Or, whatever. Whatever, okay? Get off my back. Don't appreciate anything. Damn. Now, with Deep Wind, it's a bit different. You can only curve the little slide at the end. You can't curve the actual dash. So, you have to get used to curving and then hitting left click afterward. Also, there are two kinds of Deep Wind Step slides. There's the Deep Wind Step Slash, which is super armor and is done by pushing left or right and then left mouse button. And there's also the Deep Wind Step Stab, which is just left click after the dash. And the Deep Wind Step Slash has more delay or recovery frame after the skill than the Deep Wind Step Stab. So, you could actually continue the Deep Wind Step Stab with an Assault Smash in most cases if you want to. Now, I don't recommend doing the Deep Wind Step Stab too much because it's semi-super armor and therefore can be countered very easily. So, 
that has always been a problem and that's why I didn't do it very much but I didn't consider this before but doing that combined with good skill curving could possibly solve that problem and make deep wind step that much more of a great skill so picture this you can deep wind step away from your opponent do a 180 degree curve back towards your opponent with the deep wind step stab and that will be a lot harder to see coming in most cases and you can continue that into a combo so that's one great initiation and it will take some practice to get the curving down and sometimes the opponent may be able to rising attack before you can get them in a combo actually it might happen quite often i haven't tested very much but it is a great technique nonetheless and i hope to see a good number of bms trying this out now so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed my pro tip and new bm technique review and i hope you guys go out there kick some ass and curve up some action or er, curvy curve i i don't know <laughs>